and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, is the second article of our profession of faith summarized in the Creed. As we have said, Jesus is the Son of God, for he is the second person of the Holy Trinity, the Son of God, the Father. The Creed teaches us that he is God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not created, consubstantial with the Father, that is to say, he is of the same nature as the Father. John's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 14, says that Jesus, the Word who became flesh, dwelt amongst us and we have seen his glory, that glory he has from his Father, as the only Son, full of grace and truth. In chapter 3, verses 16, it is written, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have life everlasting. It therefore goes without saying that Jesus is the Messiah sent by his Father to heal and save the world corrupted by sin. It's crystal clear. We all bear the mark of sin in us. However, even though no one has ever seen God, through his son Jesus, the new Adam, who lived amongst the men, we unceasingly receive grace after grace and the renewal of our being. As Christians, we firmly believe that Jesus is the Messiah, sent by God and consecrated by His Spirit, as we read in the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verses 1, or in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, verses 18. He is the Savior promised by God to all people without distinction, who will save them from all their sins. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 1 verses 22. To say that Jesus is the Son of God is therefore to emphasize his relationship with the Father. Moreover, the evangelists underline this reality by testifying to Jesus' attachment to God at two major events in his life on earth. At the moment of his baptism in the Jordan, before Jesus began his public life, as we read in the Gospel of Mark chapter 1 verses 9 to 11, and at the transfiguration before Jesus entered Jerusalem to suffer his passion. In conclusion, the second article of the Creed also highlights Christ's divinity as the Son of God. The name Jesus, which is an abbreviation of Jehoshua, means God saves. Jesus, therefore, came to fulfill the promise of his name. In short, he is the Savior and it brings about salvation. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and leave us a comment.